Okay, so um, I've already done, this is my third jar. These are big jars. And look, I still have all that, all that hanging over there. This one to process. These are the sticks. I'm going to try to process these too. But uh, I think I'm going to dry the rest. Because I made three, uh, three of these should last me for the winter and into the next time the tinctures will be ready, which is, oh, what about this time next year? So I'm trying to make enough for, to last me a year until the next season comes and the tinctures are ready. So, uh, yeah, let's see. So I just took um, my scissors and I, I cut the stems I saved some stems, I cut some stems, I just chop them up into here, I used the seeds, everything, everything. I could use the roots, but I, I didn't pull up any roots this time. So, I got a hard proof vodka, and you just pour it in, that's it. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. <laughs> Good, I am actually growing those for you guys. Yeah, I'm going to be putting a, um, a basket out there, and every time they're ripe, I'll put them there so anybody can come have them. Yeah, those are for you guys. <laughs> They'll be ready soon. I get it to right about there and then I'll jab at it a little just to get the bubbles out make sure there's some air getting in there there's an old man at this park who hates me I don't know why he hates me and he hates me because I live outside and I've never talked to him. He always just gives me the stink eye and I fucking smile at him because I think it's funny. <laughs> but uh, today he actually talked to me. I gave him a smile and he was like, you know what? I don't want you over here. You're a parasite. And I was like, oh yeah? Well, fuck you, old man. <laughs> so now I'm going to make it a point to hang out as close to his house as possible every time I'm here just to fucking piss him off because I'm a parasite that's what parasites do sucker so there we go fill it all the way to the top I give it a little time for the day just to kind of settle I wiggle it around and then later in the evening I'll top all the jars off you don't want any air in them, so you can still kind of see a couple bubbles come on up. Give it a shake. And, um, six to eight weeks. Let's see what it's today is. August the 3rd. It's a full moon. This is full moon medicine. Um, I'm so shit at math, but I'm going to assume, like, October 3rd? Something like that. So yeah, these will be ready and I'm going to dry these. And I heard there's so many different ways to process this. I'm right now just focusing on tinctures, but people make um, like this goop. They like boil it down and make like a syrup. People dry it and smoke it. People put it in uh, tea. Like I said before about um, wild lettuce, there's a lady on YouTube, um, TN. Tennessee woman and uh, she's, she's got the DL on all that so I'm not very good at talking but she, if, if you want information on all that I will watch her videos 
So yeah, all right, man. So I'm gonna, I have three, three big jars. And um, I'm thinking maybe I'll make another one. Cause I have this, I just bought this package and I have this jar. So, uh, yeah, maybe another one in dry because I have a lot left. Look at this. This, all oh, this is drying here. All this. Look at all this. So, and I even got some laid out. I tied some ropes and laid them out so they could get some air. Well, hello, B. How are you? Want to say something? No? Oh, secrets are only for me. Okay. Well, that's it. So, six to eight weeks, October. Things will be ready. All right. Peace out.